Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Sultan Khan and Max Elwe. This game was played in Hastings, England in 1913. Sultan Khan had white pieces and he started with d4. Max Elwe played d5. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. c4. Queen's gambit. c6. Slow defense. C takes on d5, the exchange variation. C takes on d5, knight to c3, knight to c6, white to move, e3, bishop to f4 is the most played move, e3, bishop to f5, a3, e6, bishop to d3, bishop takes bishop, queen takes on d3, bishop to d6, and both players castle at the king's side e4, threatening e5, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, bishop to e7. White has isolated queen's pawn. How bad is that? The game continued, bishop to d2, bishop to f6, more pressure on the pawn, bishop to c3, black to move. Well, this move is a bit unexpected. Queen to d5. Perhaps queen to d6 was expected. And after rook from a to d1, rook from f to d8. More pressure on the pawn. On d4. Max Elwe played the queen to d5. And you can get an impression that Elwe is helping Sultan to solve the problem with isolated queen's pawn. Sultan Khan happily captured the queen. e takes on d5. Is this position equal? What do you think? Perhaps black is slightly better because black pieces are attacking the pawn on d4 and white pieces are defending it. However, this is not enough to win the game. Max away went for this position, believing that he can create another weakness on one of the wings. Very interesting approach. The game continued. Rook from f to e1, the most natural move, placing the rook on the open file. Rook from f to e8, rook to e3, intending to double the rooks. King to f8, rook from a to e1, rook from a to c8 g4, threatening g5, h6, h4, rook takes on e3, rook takes on e3, rook to e8, and rooks are exchanged. King to f1, and now both players want to centralize their kings. King to d7, king to e2, king to e6, king to d3, g6, Bishop to d2, attacking the pawn on h6. What is the best move for black in this position? The best move is h5. Very simple and good. With this move, always winning the control of f5 square. g5. Even if g takes on h5, then g takes on h5. And black king is coming to f5. We have g5, bishop to d8, knight to e1, king to f5, going after the weak pawn on h4, f3, preventing king to g4. Black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for black. Max ever played f6. Believe it or not, this is the winning move. After this, white is fighting a lost battle. f4. What else? If g takes on f6, bishop takes on f6, and the pawn on h4 is dead, and black pawn on h5 is marching. So we have f4. But now king to g4. Knight to g2, just holding by the skin of his teeth. 
king to g3. White to move and the sultan can vent for a trick. f5. And black must be careful. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Do you take the offered pawn or not? Is it safe to take the knight on g2? This is a very important moment of the game. Max already did his calculations and confidently captured the knight. Well, offered pawn is a bit poisoned. Then g6 and after knight to e7, knight to f4. King takes on h4, g7, knight to g8. Knight takes on d5, and white has a hop. One line goes like this. King to g4, king to e3, h4, king to f2. And white is okay. Back to our game. Max will play the best move. King takes on g2, f takes on g6, intending g7, g8, queen. But Max away had horses for courses. Knight to e7, g7, knight to g8, bishop to f4, f takes on g5, h takes on g5, king to f3 attacking the bishop and shouldering white king before pushing the h pawn. Bishop to b8, black played a move and white resigned. The move is Bishop takes on g5, white resigned. One line goes like this. Bishop takes pawn on a7, h4. Bishop to b8, h3, bishop to h2, bishop to f4, bishop to g1, king to g2, bishop to e3. Bishop takes bishop, king takes bishop, h2, what now? Something like king to f4, and then black pawn is pushed and promote it to something like um, queen. And we can stop here. This should be enough for a win on this level. Is that a good joke? What do you think of Max Elvis' endgame technique? What do you think of this game? And uh, that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.